Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome Hello. back to Love and Hips TV. Hello, I see every time. <laughs> this girl's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> don't start acting crazy already. Okay. Oh, you don't even feel good today. Feel good. <laughs> but she is here with us, and we are so candy. glad to be back with y'all. We hope everybody had a good Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, last time we was here, we had our uh, pre-Valentine's, so right. yes. uh, we are back, and we have a great show for y'all today. So, we have Miss Sharon, Gary Hill, Dill. Gary Deal Hackney, right? Okay. Miss Sharon, you think forever remember I know that. I'm like Sharon. Miss Sharon, Sharon, that's what we call her. <laughs> the Queen Sharon, fashion designer extraordinaire is in the building with us that's today. Right. Right. So she is going to be talking to us about her upcoming projects that she has going on, and uh, I think we are going into the seventh seventh of seventh year of the Daisha Court Fashion Show. So we are looking okay. forward to that. Um, and uh, go on to tell them what the hot topic is for today, Kim. So we're going to get it. We're going to talk about everybody weekend. Well, we will, weekend. but yeah, yeah, Kim, how was your weekend? I used to say I'm sick. <laughs> So you did too much this week. No, I've been nursing. My baby boy was sick, but I'm nursing myself back to health. So okay. I have been good in the job. bed recuperating, drinking hot toddies. And mm -hmm. Girl, I can smell it coming well, you out. You look good too. today. You look good she, today. She baby. looks great, girl. I appreciate it. But look, like she about to open up these sinuses of mine, too, with all this eucalyptus that she got. <laughs> <laughs> she about to open up everybody's sinuses, but it's all yeah. good. Whatever makes you feel better, sis. Hey, I'm drinking tea. No alcohol today. No. Oh, okay. Do you do anything special in the past couple of weeks? Um, I went out to dinner with my baby, with mm -hmm. my son. Um, that was good. We went to Stony River. That was amazing. Oh, I, I love Stony River. My whole, my whole um, Can't go wrong dinner there. was free because I took. Yes, it was because we were, <laughs> to, we were waiting for an hour and a half, you know, and then it was just it was horrible. So oh, we didn't, okay. I didn't have a waiter. Oh wow! So like, how are you guys gonna seat me with no waiter? With no waiter? <laughs> oh no! Sense? Yeah, and the host came and took our order and left, and I was like, oh. We don't have a waiter, so I talked to oh, the manager. Okay, so you got to work up then. It was good. <laughs> you know, the steak, it, it tasted even better when it was free. Oh. Uh, yeah, I know that's right. Because <laughs> that's not a, that's not, that's an yes. expensive restaurant. So, it you know, is. you got you a good deal. Well, I took uh, my daughter and I, yeah. we went on a mother-daughter date, and uh, we went to see um, the Alvin Ailey dancers. That was my first time. Oh, okay. I have been wanting to see Alvin Ailey for a long time, uh, Ali, Alvin Ailey production, and uh, every time it comes and something else is going on in my life and I don't get to go. But we, we went, and we were in the building at the Fox Theater. It was a great production. So uh, she was excited. I was, and uh, that was Thursday night in the cold rain, but we you had a good time. I know it. It yeah. was just kind of a last minute gesture for me. I just was like, I'm going there. this time, mm -hmm. you know, and that's that was it. I went and got the tickets, and, and uh, we made it happen. So, okay, well, that's yeah. good. I saw you guys. You guys look real cute. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's the older she gets, the, she's starting to look more like her mother. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she don't, yeah, act, well, like, she don't act like me, though. But, but she, she got the hips. <laughs> yeah, she's got the hips. <laughs> I'm still loving over here, but she got plenty of hips. Yeah, she does. Her 19-year-old self. She just turned 19 a couple weeks ago, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Aquarius friend. Yeah, it's your Aquarius sister. Yeah. So. Well, let's go ahead and talk about this hot topic. Oh, I need Lord. To call in today. It's a bit Just much today. Sick don't mean anything. Miss <laughs> Sharon, cover your, cover your ears yeah, for Sharon, this. Oh, no. Miss Sharon says she with it. <laughs> <laughs> We love Michelle. So the hot topic of today is, mm, ooh, I don't even know how to talk about it. How, how do you tell a man 
that his penis is too small. Oh, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Y'all get ready. Y'all get y'all answers Ooh. together and get ready to call in later That looks on. like me right so now. What's the, the number? The blonde. That Just like, I ain't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't what's have the number. No. Look, Jack, we'll, we'll get, get the, the number, number to you all. We'll get the number to you. We should know it by now, but we, we don't. <laughs> Shout so out y'all, to, uh, the producer over there that don't have all. Uh, <laughs> he uh-uh. getting it. He getting it. Don't know, no, 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 Shalene, we got um, Char, Lila Tasha. Hey, everybody. Oh, hey, Dre. Yes. Hey, Dre. Miss Sharon said, hey, Dre. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. And y'all make sure y'all share it. Don't share it on your page so everybody can see it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So, well, all right, y'all ready? We okay. ready. All right. So, we have Miss Sharon in the building, and she is ready to talk to your camera. <laughs> Your camera. <laughs> hey, Miss Sharon. How you doing? Um, not just me. And the and tell, that's right. I have my publicist extraordinaire. She's a lot of things. She's a singer, Nella Joy. Uh, okay. She's a publicist. Right. She's a, a, a special needs ad- advocate. Uh, okay. Has so many, many things. And she's been on this journey with me from the very, very, very beginning. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, we great. started out, and we started out with her daughter, uh, Sarah Stanley who uh, has cerebral palsy, who is wheelchair yes. bound, who is one of oh, my signature man. models. Uh, okay. She's been there with oh, me from wow. the beginning. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. That's awesome. That's amazing. That's where I remember you from. I think I've seen you at one of the shows. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, as of March 15th, um, 2020, at Atlanta City Hall, it happens again. This is our second year in this Ooh. venue. I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful venue. Uh, and then it's all marble and it's very elegant and, and hence the name of the show is An Evening of Fashion and Elegance. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be hosted. And I try to get really <laughs> great people to host it. Last year was Karen Greer and Vince Sims of CBS 46. This year is going to be Rashad Ritchie of CBS, MSNBC, mm-hmm. WAOK, uh, political uh, advocate as well. And to Wonder Black with 104.1 FM radio. Okay. okay. Very nice. <laughs> what about my belly? What about my belly? What about my belly? <laughs> oh, you want your belly over here, girl? <laughs> 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 All right. Hold on. Are you going to say something? Go ahead. <laughs> Come on, Norma. Okay. Well, um, you know, we're very... Okay, my... Um, it's been a really great ride over the last six, seven years that we've been doing this. And my daughter, Sierra, uh, is one of... Like she said, her signature models, and uh, she enjoys it. And, you know, my goal is to actually to enhance the quality of life for my daughter and other mothers like myself. Um, and okay. so this opportunity for her to be a part of this fashion show has been a blessing for us. And I know that the other parents whose children are involved, they, they're having a blast too. So mm-hmm. um, we're really thankful for Sharon for allowing our children to have an opportunity to shine. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. that's amazing. That's amazing. So, Miss Sharon, how did you get into fashion? Ooh, I've been <laughs> sewing since I was five. Okay. I saw my mother make a dress by hand. Mm. And I just copied what she did. So I was mm-hmm. making stuff for my oh, look dolls. look at her. Yeah. This uh, is Judy. That was with elastic and all kinds of look. stuff. Look. Like, yeah. Oh, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> look, oh, look at you, Akia. Okay. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> I know. Yes. Uh, that was Atlanta's hottest. That dress was uh, bomb. Yes. yes. It was. Oh, and that's coming you, up. I'm going to Beverly Hills in June. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. So do the two Ks. That's what I was going to ask you yes. about the two Ks. Yes. Yes. Not yes. Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills at the uh, Savan uh, Theater okay. in Beverly Hills. Okay. Awesome. Right. Awesome. And I'm doing all the costuming for that. I'm surprised you have all these pictures. Yes, yes. honey. Yes. We Googled you. Yes. <laughs> 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 that was Toya. 
Yeah, she did all the little research. Good job, yeah. Troy. Yeah. 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 You're all over social media. She is it's all over. over. <laughs> it wasn't hard to find it. Uh um. I was looking uh, specifically, I remember um the um the news. Um was that in two, 2018? Uh, no, it was 2019. 2019 and 18. 18, yes. 18 was the was that the first one where you were on the news um, on CBS yeah. News? No, it was not. It was not. No, oh was yeah, the news, that's right. Yeah. 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 They were, B, B Reed, she was on there with you. Inside edition. Inside edition, yes. Awesome. That was just just wonderful. That came from a, a, the interview that CBS did mm-hmm. locally. Okay. And um, they picked it up. Yeah. They picked it up and we actually ended up in 30 markets. Across awesome. The 30 markets as a result. Yeah, I knew it had went national. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. International. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get wow. out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's but right. it's special what you're doing, you know, uh, having having the special needs and, um, yes. you know, to, and you know. That, yeah, that was actually just, my question. How did beautiful. you get into the, the special needs? Like, I know you're into fashion, but how did you get? Sierra so because, Stanley. okay. Mm-hmm. Sierra Stanley. Okay. We were talking one day, <laughs> and um, we were suggested, Norma said, well, Sierra, can, be, can Sierra be in the show? I'm like, absolutely, but, so, but let's get some more. So yeah. we got more. We have one. We call them um, uh, audition court limit, limit, limitless models. Okay. And what my thing is, me, I'm an outsider looking in at the special needs community. Okay. Norma lives it every day. Yes. Right. Sarah is 30, 31. Oh, wow. Right. So she lives <laughs> it every day, and I'm an outsider looking in. Okay. So what bothers me most of all is people don't understand them. Right. Mm-hmm. That's they right. Are just like us. They have the same they are. and desires just like us. Mm. They want to look And they're very good. smart. They're very yeah, smart. They are. And they understand. Like, yeah. Because you know what? I actually work with cerebral palsy. Mm-hmm. Um, my, those are my, my clients. Mm-hmm. I've been in the business for like over 12 years. I've wow. had a CP for 12 years and now mm-hmm. I work with um, another girl and her name is Gray and she has CP. She's 32. So mm-hmm. she's in the wheelchair as well. Mm-hmm. So that's just like my passion too. Like so, um, CP and just special needs all around. So. Uh, right, and I do. I address all. I have cerebral palsy. I have wow. autism. Mm-hmm. I have prosthetics. I have yes. Down syndrome. You name it, I got it. And my and my thought process is to desegregate them. They have all of their own of this. Yes. Just their own. Mm-hmm. I, yes. I, for me, I get a kick out of seeing them backstage with the models. Yeah. Taking pictures and right. interacting. I want that them to be treated just like everybody else. Right. That's right, and yeah. And if people are exposed to mm-hmm. them, then they don't know. They're going to make fun of them. They're going to mm-hmm. look right. at them. And, you know, and those them. things bother me. Yes. And, and that's the key, to just treat them like everybody else. And they're right. very, they're very, very smart. And, and they, challenge yeah. the parents and as a disability community advocate is, um, you know, trying to encourage other parents to not seclude their children. Sometimes our parents do not bring them out that's they don't right. Take them to events. They don't take That's them to right. They don't take them to plays. Exactly. Exactly. And my goes everywhere. Yeah. And That's in right. New York. She's going to New York Fashion Week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> beautiful. Go this year. Wow. It's to take all of my uh, limitless models to New okay. York Fashion, to New York Fashion Week. Week. Yes. That's amazing. That's going to be great. The wow. whole point is, is for them to be included and to, like she was saying, not disintegrate. Um, and we want to make sure that they have the same opportunity to shine as everybody else. Mm-hmm. Okay. My goal as a mother is to make sure that she has the best life possible. And so in order for her to have the best life possible, I have to have the best life possible. Exactly. And it's right. very challenging. You know, it yes. really is. Um, and it, it can be tiring and it can take a lot out of you. But the goal is to really maximize the potential. That's right. Do you have help with her? To help them. Right. And mm-hmm. getting help is not easy. That's all <laughs> yes. Right. But it is a process. And the thing is, um, a lot of the mothers and parents, and it's challenging. And so it is. sometimes after a full day of work, you just don't have the energy to do what you need to do. But, That's right. Um, you know, I'm hoping through the things that I do, as, as through the various platforms that I do as a journalist and as a singer and as, you know, a disability community advocate and all the things that I do from a mm-hmm. PR standpoint, to encourage them to not give up on their own dreams. That's just right. Just because their children need them. Yes. And there's so much that, especially the ones who are, who are not independent, because my daughter's not independent, I'm yes. her primary caregiver. That's right, yeah. And you have to really, you know, you have to 
there's a lot of sacrifice. That's just no, no yes. other But way it's so it worth it. It is so worth it because, I mean, to see the smile on their faces Absolutely. when they go down that runway. When yeah. I first, the yeah. first one that I went to, I was just, I mean, it, it brought me to tears. It, does. <laughs> it, it did. Does. And you turn it mm. Out. They do. I have they someone are. that wants to be in the show, Miss Sharon. I have somebody that wants to be in it. <laughs> His name is Money Man, and he always is watching. So shout out to Money Man. He's like our number one fan. Absolutely. So yeah, definitely shout out to Money Man oh, and Gray. Um, Gray is my my um client now, and she's always watching too. And she's in the wheelchair, and she's always like, "Can I help you?" Well, she doesn't talk, so we communicate That's through okay. we communicate That's through okay. the keyboard. And she's always like, "Can I help you? Can I do this? Aww. Can I come to the show?" <laughs> and she has come to my Macy show. I had like a um. A show in Macy's, and she came and supported with her mom, and That's it's sweet. yeah, it's really sweet. Like it just, you know, I just love it. I love it. Awesome. It, it takes a, a special person to have a special heart to deal with, you know, certain yeah. situations. Cause it is. Y'all are y'all are blessed. Well, How do you I mean, deal with that and do your career and take care of your easy. kids? It's not easy. <laughs> um, you do what you have to do. As mm-hmm. part of my assignment, I that was not my plan when I had Sierra. You know, I was thirty. And, okay. Um, you know, I was at the height of my career at the time, and you know, God had another plan for me, and it's like, okay, this is not what I intended, but okay. Yes. Wow. Um, but you know, you do what you have to do, and as a mother, if you love your child, you're gonna do whatever it takes. Exactly. Sure. That's right. Maximize their potential, and you know, do what they, you know, to That's make right. them happy. So, you know, um, Sierra is my muse. She inspires me. If it wasn't for Sierra, I probably would be doing half of what I'm doing today. Yeah. Oh, and wow. she inspires me to to push. That's Harder. right. Harder, yeah, every day. Yeah, she's like the energizer. Of mine. <laughs> I, look, I look at her, and I'm one of a Sierra's caregivers. So, okay. Um, I understand her life immensely. We sing together. We just act up together. <laughs> yes. You know, I let her do what she wants. Norma goes, leave her alone. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> she has to have discipline. <laughs> yeah. I just Aww. let her go. Just Aww. let her go. Right. <laughs> let her go. <laughs> Like a good auntie. That's, that's a good auntie. Yeah, that's what that is. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Oh. They need boundaries like everybody else. And so, but but the point is, make sure that she continues to have a, as independent of life as possible. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, have people around who that you know trust that, that you can care. And, 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 and as a um, disability community advocate, one of the things you guys are talking about, which is one of the areas that she's um, passionate about, also in generating awareness about is that. You know, the whole trafficking thing. I mean, you know, I read somewhere that just it just broke my heart where it happened to people with disabilities too. Yes. Where they would take them, the ones who are intellectually um, challenged and disabled, um, they would take them and, and, and far, put them in farming situations that they're working on 24 hours a day and they're not feeding them. And, you yeah, know, they have a horse. They yeah. Can, yeah. They, and, they, you know, they, nobody knows, nobody's paying attention. Mm-hmm. And uh, so those are the kind of things that we absolutely have to stop. That is amazing. I don't know what to say for that. No, it's <laughs> different though. I don't want to switch it up. But Miss Sharon, when I first met you, most designers they'll put you on clothes and okay, here, walk with this, walk with this, walk with this. You, <laughs> no ma'am. Miss no Sharon will look at you. <laughs> she will vision what she wants you to wear, how it's supposed to look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if she does not like it, she, no, take it off. she'll take it, it off. It. She'll pull just, it. Just tell me about like how do you choose your models? How you are so into your models, like you're into your clothing, you're into you have a vision before we even put it on. Mm-hmm. So I mean like just tell me more about that. Like how do you do that? Well, for one thing, I, I, I try to think outside the box. So mm-hmm. many designers I do sample size on them. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, everybody wants I'm I'm not a sample size. Mm-hmm. Okay? Okay. And everybody wants to look good, but most importantly, you gotta wear what's appropriate for your body type. I see it too often and it bothers me. Yeah. When mm-hmm. I see stuff that you really shouldn't take that outfit because it is not becoming one right. of you. You want to be classy. You want to be. You can be classy, sexy, and tasteful all at the same time. Right. It's got to match your body for me. Mm-hmm. And I'll find it. I'll mm-hmm. find it for you. Yes, from the accessories to the mm-hmm. shoes. Yeah, she'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put you together real quick. Real yeah. quick. And then, she'll, and then she'll say, walk for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. I thought we just put on the clothes and you walk. No, it's, it's got to come to walk for me. I gotta see if you own it. Right. That's right. right. The look that you're wearing because it's got to kind of match what I see in my head. I had a model recently to tell me 
I always said that I said to stop bouncing, and I, I yeah. have my right to say that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I don't want you bouncing. You're not in uh, exactly. Urban yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want you bouncing in my club. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's That's a right. Smooth glide. That's right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Everybody wants a different thing because there's, there's and, and, some designers. And I'm what I want. Yeah. Yes. Yes. My right. Yeah. Exactly. Because exactly. exactly. if you're gonna wear my clothes, you gotta do what I say. What I ask you to do. I want to. If you got a whole vision of how you want to look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you come up with your vision? You just see Girl, something. Girl, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Everywhere. I can look at or I can look at this carpet. Uh, okay. I just, I see it everywhere I look. Uh -huh. mm. You know, I love old movies. I love really love old classics. movies. Uh, yeah, the classics. Mm -hmm. My favorite eras of fashion is the 40s. In the sixties, okay, mm -hmm. and I, I I love to watch old movies, and I because in fashion technically there is not there is nothing that is now that has not already, already been. been. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's right. It, it, is. And it, it has you have to put your own little twist to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. But Miss Sharon, um, for the special needs um, mm -hmm. people that you have, like the ones that are in wheelchairs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So during the fashion shows, do you do you have like one outfit for them, or do you have still have outfit changes, or design, how do you do that? For most of them, I design and style. Okay. Mm -hmm. right? um, I'm not at a budget where I can okay. provide, but I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I will go bring me three choices, and mm -hmm. I will hook it up, okay. or I will embellish it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, you know, and do it that way. I don't design for men, so all of the boy uh, models that oh, you see okay. mm -hmm. are um, is my styling. Okay. You know, I'll buy stuff, or the parents will buy stuff, or the Sharon, what do you think about this? I'm like, oh, okay. that, 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 and that. Okay. So, but I want them to look as stunning as everybody else. Right. Okay, that's great. Right. Mm -hmm. And do you have model calls for them, or do you just oh, like yeah, kind of know yeah. Oh, yeah. people that yeah. also? Model okay. Model calls, photo shoots, they mm -hmm. do okay. everything that everybody they else does. does. Wow, that's awesome. amazing. Everything. That's amazing. <laughs> right? Yes. yes. I will. I, I would love to be part of that. I would love for you to. <laughs> yes. Aww. One of the and things I'm that we are part of that um, that we're going to be doing again this year is um, something called showability okay. that the Fashion by Nation Court Limitless Models they're a part of, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, and it basically showability the nonprofit that 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 Sharon that support. supports through okay. kind of events is called Able to. Okay. And Able to is a nonprofit that helps to generate awareness and help to bring opportunities for people with disabilities who have performing art talents. Okay. Awesome. Dancers, singers, rappers, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. And um, so, and, and the modeling part is part of that event. Given. And so, we're going to be doing that again. They okay. actually, um, this is the 30th year of the ABA. Oh. And so, they're going to be doing a gala in July, um, you know, celebrating that, and we'll be a part of that. Oh, okay. But okay. they're also, um, Myrna Clayton, who is the founder of that organization, she's going to be singing. At the, in, at the show on March okay. 15th. And she's um, an international She's singer. a, she's a oh, cultural wow. ambassador for the U.S. Okay. Department. Oh, my God. Um, wow, that's big big awesome. Yeah. 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 Yes, they are. <laughs> we're so, we're blessed. Blessed. I'll mm. my name for y'all. Now, yeah. um, I know God puts people in your life for a reason, season, a lifetime. Mm -hmm. I do understand. Mm -hmm. How did y'all two meet? <laughs> <laughs> she laughs. <laughs> How did God hook y'all to <laughs> Well, it's the spirit, actually. We met through a nonprofit, an organization, a community service organization that um, we were both a part of. And um, we were both volunteering our time and services and gifts. And it was, you know, it's actually a very large organization that a lot of people were a part of. And we connected, and we just became friends. And um, you know, a lot of the people who are good friends of mine today came out of that organization. That you know, nobody is no longer part of that organization, right. but we're all still friends. So Sharon is one of those people yeah. um, that we Stop. met. Yeah, yeah, that we met. It's about what five or six years ago? No, it's about seven. Yeah. About seven years ago yeah. now mm -hmm. that we met. And so, um, but it's been a blessing. And it, it was. Said, you know, my daughter. You know. People keep saying we're sisters. We look like sisters. Like yeah, you all do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We go, like, Are y'all sisters? No, we're not. But um, and you know, my daughter loves hanging out with her, and so it's a, it's been a blessing. And nephew said, you know, you never know how long your season is going to be, yeah, but no. you know, while the season is present, you want to maximize that time. Mm -hmm. And so you know, because you know, tomorrow's not promised. Well, it definitely is not. Well, you all you, know, you all are music. a great team. So, you know, she, <laughs> yeah, she styles you getting the work singing, done. Which is totally different from what I look like when I'm. Oh yeah, I'm, 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 oh, she styles you too. Yeah, when I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. She runs the stage and her yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, That's you want to nice. sing us a little something, Miss Norma? You want to give us? She's like, no, Miss Norma said, don't be putting.
putting me on the spot now, Anna. Her stage name is Nella Joy. Nella Joy. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nella Joy. I said, when you're doing all your corporate stuff, you look this way. Okay. But now you're Nella Joy and you got to look. Nella Joy yes. is like, totally different. Well, what's Nella Joy? Transform. There you go. Transformation. Yeah. What does she look like? She look like me. I said, yeah. not supposed to. Nella Joy is totally different. It's my sister. Alter, 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 alter ego. ego. Yes. yes. So it's, a lot, it's a lot funkier. Yeah. Uh, well, there you go. <laughs> Got to keep it more, spicy. I have honey. one more question about well, the special needs because you know that's okay, just my well, field. Well, but that. just from like you know being a mother and stuff. And are you are you like a single mother? Yes, my husband okay. passed away. Actually, we were married twenty five years. He passed away. Aww. Years. Okay. Um, this this August. Yeah. So Sierra lost her dad. Oh, okay. Well, same with my client, actually. It's been, like, 15 years, so she's a single mother. So I just want to know, like, what, um, like, as a mother, like, with a child that does have, you know, special needs, like, what, what is something that you would want to do, like, by yourself? Like, is that something that you want to, like, do more of, like, for well, yourself? A lot of the things, that I couldn't do the things that I do today if I didn't have good caregivers. Because right. we mm-hmm. cannot trust our children mm-hmm. with just anybody. anybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's yes. very important having a support system that mm-hmm. we can leave our children with, yes. especially the young women, the guys too. Yes. Because, I mean, unfortunately, sexual abuse is huge in that community. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so we, I'm very particular about who I leave my daughter with. That's mm-hmm. right. And so I'm thankful that I have people like Sharon. One of my sisters actually has moved here. Okay. Um, and but I'm very, it's a very close group of people mm-hmm. that I trust her with that yes. I know that she'll be safe when I have to travel and the, the, the different things I have to do. So it's very challenging for mothers that you know who don't have that's that right, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can only I, I understand, and that's one of the biggest needs is finding support for us when we have to do things like just take a break, just go yes, to movies mm-hmm. by yes, exactly, or, get your nails you know, done or, or get paid, yeah. yeah. You know, so I encourage other people to you know to support if you know somebody who has a child like yes. ours, especially those who are not independent mm-hmm. or are not vocal or vo- verbal. Yep, you know to offer to t- take care of their child for a couple of hours while they do, yeah. you know, they have to kind of just get away from it sometimes. That's actually that's like right. my thing that I'm working on. That's how it is when you have a normal child. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody yeah. needs a break. The child can't do anything for themselves. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So it's different, adults. yeah. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's actually well, like one of my, yeah. my biggest like dreams is to do that like in the future to have like a center for, you know, people, the moms and, you know, dads that have kids like that that can take a, like take some time for themselves so, so. and mm-hmm. just have them in a place that's safe right. with people that you it's, know it's a big need. You can it trust. is really be a big need. yes i do an event in may called exceptional parents and mm-hmm. it's, it's to encourage parents with children like ours who yes. um, to help them you know to just let them know that we recognize the challenges because it's a sensitive time i do it around mother's day because i know my daughter doesn't know it's mother's day never she never did yes mm-hmm. and so that's one of the things i try to encourage mothers right around that time but fathers, there are a lot of fathers who stay. A lot of fathers leave. Yes. Yeah. There are a lot of fathers that do stay and are very, very um, active in the child's development. Yeah. So it's, it is a process. It is not for everybody. Not everybody can handle it. A lot of parents are taking themselves and their children out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And not in a good way. I mean, they're killing themselves. Yeah. So it's a lot of stress. But, mm. but, but it is. You have to be grounded in your faith. Yes. You have to be grounded. Like I said, you have to have this support mm-hmm. system. People who you know are going to be there when you know you just no need you need the help. Yeah. Um, and you can't be afraid to ask for the help. I'm one of those people who don't generally ask for help. Right. But you cannot be afraid to ask for help. Yeah, exactly. That's when you need it. Right. Yeah. And if you need the help, just take it. That's mm-hmm. also another thing too. When I worked with the you know previous family, like they would just feel guilty by leaving the kids, you know, by themselves. And mm-hmm. it was just a guilt thing. Yeah. So they just would just kind of, like, shut down and not, yeah. you know, go out anywhere. Because, you know, everybody around you, like, they're, they're looking. Another like thing, it looks, seems like you know, that people need to know what resources that exactly. that are out there mm-hmm. for them because they feel yeah. like they're all alone in it. And, yeah. and they need to know, you know, where to go mm-hmm. and to look to and find the help for it. A lot of the resources, there's so many, but a lot of them, Still are not reaching down into the grassroots into getting right. I mm-hmm. found out a lot of things that I found out for my child from another mother who's going mm-hmm. to have the same thing. Somehow it's not connecting the way it needs to be, to be connected at mm-hmm. the grassroots level. And we're trying to change that. We have to change that. Yeah. Well, yeah. kudos to everything right. you all are doing. Thank you. <laughs> And we appreciate We y'all. really do. Yes, thank you for and coming today. And we are today. looking forward. This has been wonderful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're looking forward to the show. I'd like to say if I may. Yes. Sure. Okay, and it's in regards to people with special needs mm-hmm. and how people treat them because they're not exposed. Mm-hmm. But if you don't remember anything else that I say, remember this. You can fall down the steps. 
You can have a car accident, you can get ill and get be wheelchair bound. And guess what? Your special needs too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. It could happen to you. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. That's We're all right. one accident away for being part of the same That's right. population. And it's the largest minority population right. in the nation, 56 million people. 56 million people mm. who are people with disabilities, and that does not include their family and friends. So mm -hmm. that's a huge, huge population. Yeah. It, by 2030, we'll be 20% of the population. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's huge. And people yeah. just really need to understand that it's, a, and it's becoming a yeah. lot more vocal. Yeah. Um, it's a very huge voting block. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, one out of every three people mm -hmm. has a disability. And it might not be like a physical, like you can't, you might not Absolutely. be able to see it. Mm -hmm. to be able to see it. Yes, that's yes. right. Yes, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. yes, that's right. right. I know all about it. I'm all <laughs> in this. I'm all in <laughs> this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, when I was in my late 40s, I had epilepsy. It came out of nowhere. Okay. It came out of stress. Mm -hmm. Wow. I didn't yeah. that. Thank you, by the grace of God, it, it's no longer. But I had it for four years. I was on medication for four years. I couldn't drive for four years. That, I mean, I can't, couldn't do the things I'm doing now with CC. Mm -hmm. You yes. know, because we go all over the place. But I'm thankful that it's, it has passed. But sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you just have to live with that. Yes. And, you know, so the stress of life can, can bring on. Definitely. That's a right. Uh -huh. Well, thank you guys yeah. so much thank for sharing. Thank you for coming. Ms. Sharon, tell, before you, uh, we let you go, just yeah. tell everybody about the upcoming uh, show and, um, and your other project that you got coming up where you're going to be uh, designing for, is, uh, the production that you're going to be designing uh, okay. for. Okay. Uh, my, my show, we, we typically did it in February around my mm -hmm. birthday, but we changed it. Oh, when's your birthday? It's. Tuesday. Tuesday. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, you look the hell like when is? She's a Pisces. She's a Pisces. She's not an Aquarius. Not an Aquarius. I love Pisces too. Pisces. Shout okay. out to my best friend, the Pisces. Yes, but we changed it to March, March. because that is National Disabilities Month. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it is going to be March twenty third through the twenty fifth. Mm -hmm. Okay. At Atlanta City Hall. Okay. The doors open at three. Uh, that's when they can come to your. Booth and interview with you guys. Yes, we're oh, going to yeah. be there. Love in the building. The love and right. will be in the building. One of the media outlets that will be in the building. <laughs> uh, but then you guys got to interview on the purple carpet too. Okay. You go do your thing. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, the host will be Rashad Ritchie and Tawanda Black. Mm -hmm. uh, the show. Mm -hmm. The other designers. Oh, and we have lots of. Oh, we have top notch designers. <laughs> we we also the surprise is we have a celebrity segment that we're going to be doing in the show with Atlanta celebrities. Okay. Uh, so they will be dressed by House of Ben Miller mm -hmm. and Howard uh, oh, okay. and Howard Gillespie. Oh, of the that's right. All right. All right. We have to Wanda Scales, who is a designer, Whisper Couture, who is in a wheelchair. We've mm -hmm. been together for a, a while now. Mm -hmm. Love her. Love her. We have, um, oh, God, uh, a lot of <laughs> a lot of designers. <laughs> a lot of designers. We have Cheryl Marsh who will be in uh, with a uh, 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 closing the show. Oh, okay. Uh, we have um, Buttercup Buttercup Closet, mm -hmm. um, and she is hearing impaired. Oh, okay. She is a serious designer. Oh. So, yes. Yes. And let them know how they can follow you on okay. um, social media and stuff because we got to okay. get. Okay. And one more designer, work. Mr. Carlisle. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, he's going to be out. doing a segment. Mm -hmm. You can find me on social media. Uh, I'm on Instagram. Everything is my name. I keep it simple. Sharon Gary Dill uh, or Sharon Gary Dill Hackney. Mm -hmm. uh, my uh, website is www.dashacourt.com. Uh, my phone number is 404 246 1031. All right. All right. No, okay. <laughs> you know, this is a relationship love show. They're going to be calling they on me. Calling <laughs> you, know, you know what? <laughs> You know how to shut them down, Michelle. She sure does. <laughs> yeah. okay. thank, thank you, thank you so for much. coming thank out, guys, and we look forward to being at the show. We look forward to the show. I look forward to having you. Thank you. Yes, I love your I energy. My show on Friday. Thank you. on Friday night. Okay. Oh, why are you singing that? Oh, my dear. I'm sitting at Magnolia Lounge. Okay. It's Friday night, so okay. come out. I hope you guys okay. Magnolia Lounge. We're going to have to check that park. out. This is the fire. Okay. Yes, yes let's do that. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> and we're going to go into our commercial break now. Yes, we are. <laughs> guys, you guys are wonderful. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. <laughs>
And we're back. And we are back. <laughs> oh, we're back now. Hey. That's right. <laughs> Producer said back now. It's time now. <laughs> All right, Jack. Now. All right. So we have another question of the day that we didn't say in the beginning. But so my question is, does social media ruin relationships? What do you guys So y'all can call in. You guys the number is 470 470- Two five one four six four seven. So, so who gonna answer how first? you feel about it? Go ahead, Kim. Go ahead. What is your question? Oh, me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, you know what? I feel like social media it can have a little, you know, something in the relationship because it's a lot of um, temptation out there. You know, mm-hmm. with the with the DMs and the private messages and you know whatever. But also you have to be able to trust your partner. You know, and then like if, on my experience like previous relationships and stuff like that, like when I had a boyfriend, we would follow each other, but it would just get to like to the point where it's like, why are you hearting this picture? Yeah, right. Why are you commenting to her pictures? Why am I not on your page? Uh, what you know? So it was just it was too much. So we just unfollowed each other, and that was just that. And it's just better. It's peaceful. It is better. So you know, it's better it just, because it's better. Like, you, I don't want to know when y'all up in each other's. Uh, you know, yeah. my opinion when y'all on Facebook and all on these uh, mm-hmm. uh, all the social media sites and stuff, you do you you want to look and see who's liking they stuff. Yeah. If it's somebody's liking it on a regular basis, who's it? chick you know yeah. and stuff like that it's just it's too much it can definitely especially put with a Instagram strain like turning into Pornhub.com I mean, it can put a, a little... strain on a relationship it just really can you know <laughs> look um, at Kim look at Kim really she right it she right in I don't even man. like to put my uh I don't even what I don't do is even like to post pictures when I was in a relationship I didn't like to really post pictures of me and my uh man on Social, social media, media you oh, know I, I just didn't you know every once in a while we might pop up a picture or something like that but not on a regular basis like me and boo mm-hmm. out and all that, that stuff well, no, that, was, that, was that was on me that was me I don't know she was on that because a lot of women mess up and say oh this is my king yeah. this is my boo six months later uh-huh. oh it's another king it's another yeah. boo Six months later, I don't know how many kids <laughs> Yeah, and then you know what? Other people, like, when they see that, like, some people are really, like, in it to destroy you. Because, it, especially when you, like, tag the person mm-hmm. that you're with. They're just they a whole just lot of haters out here. here. You know, they really do. They really want to destroy it. Okay. It's just, like, a thing. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So, my input on that, since y'all say I'm the man. On okay. This, on, this, <laughs> on the panel. On the oh, panel. On the panel. I feel like, me personally, you should know your mate. If you know your mate is mm-hmm. insecure on certain things, nah. Because mm-hmm. if yeah. you like certain things or like author, I don't know, we're, we're beautiful. So yeah. man say y'all beautiful or you do all this yeah. and he going in. in and all. Who is that? Yeah. It's, just, it's just Instagram and just social media. He's just yeah. somebody commenting. Yeah. Now, if you're securing your relationship and your man knows yeah. what he got at home and the woman knows she got home, it's just social media. It's yeah. just a comment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, why would you let that affect you? But some things that people put on social media that you know you should not put on there, Mm-hmm. Then that's up to you to hey check that first. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. quit to go on your DM like don't put it on my page. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. just let them know hey you can say what you want, but don't say nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I have yeah. my mind on with somebody. It's yeah, just, you gotta know and you have to check them too. Also, so mm-hmm. when a man like you know gets in your DMs, you know like. So how do you? I mean, if they they try to you know slide in your DMs as they say, so you what what do you say? Like, do you say that you're in a relationship, or do you continue the conversation mm-hmm. to see? Where and it if they're not respectful of that, then you block them. Okay. I just want to know your business. You know, yeah, exactly. It's okay. ways of getting rid of folk. You know, you ain't got to continue <laughs> having them. Uh, you know, jumping in your uh, yeah. That's just like Facebook. Get rid of you can just accept people be your friend, and then five seconds later. How they get a little wave. wave. Well, that little wave. wave. That wave. That wave gets on my nerves. That wave. Don't wave. Like, can don't we exchange numbers? No, <laughs> Thank you. No, no, and no. It's, it's like, true. I it is true. Can you put this emoji up there? I hate thirsty people. If I have you. <laughs> Don't be in my ear, my ear, I'm two seconds after I said this. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. They're waiting on it. And then if you're like in any uh, uh, Facebook groups or anything and you post a picture, there they all go one by one. I'm like, uh, it's like, okay, I posted a picture. It was not an open invitation for my inbox. Yeah, so right. just calm down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now so that's, yes, that's a yes or no to that question. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. especially if you like have trust, like you know, if you know that it somebody's is. gonna like talk. Like, I disagree with what she said. I, I mean, you just got to know your your, your mate, yeah. and then you got to set boundaries on what right. what you allow other people to do on your page. Mm-hmm. It's your page. Control yeah. that thing. You know. Right. And even if you're looking at other women, like I look, I look at other women because I'll give credit to them. You know. I, I don't care. Tell you, if you're bad, you're pretty. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. 
I have no problem with that. But like I, I don't say, it's just it's just based on your mate, you know. Mm-hmm. Just on your yeah, mate. But don't be disrespectful. Yeah, but if someone's flirting with you and stuff, that's another part of the question. I know it's not. Well, here, you but... can hit like you can say thank you. you can yeah, say, just don't take it too far. Right. Yeah, yeah. thanks you know jumping on, jumping on there every time you post a new a new post or a new picture to the same dude or whatever on there commenting all the time. <laughs> right. You know, you're gonna get questioned by that, especially if if uh, you and your partner are following each other on social media so Mm -hmm. but i just think it's best not to even follow each other like you said just look yeah because i also just like don't even know the the less you know the better you sleep it's like whatever (laughs) i mean honestly like you the better you sleep because i don't want that headache like go ahead look at whatever you're looking y'all both know somebody being your man uh ig and they send them to your man I already know exactly. Amber. You quit. What? Yeah, sure am. Sure am. Who are you? I mean, now, I'm, 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 I changed a lot, like, over the last couple of years. I have. Last I've worked on myself. Days. Last few year, days. Last few Not years. Days. It, just, <laughs> it just, you know, I'm just more chill. Because I know that I'll yeah. look and stuff. And, you know, it's really not a big deal to me. It comes like, along with, yeah. with, with maturity and things that you've been through, too. You know, yeah. it's like you ain't going to get hyped it's up just about like everything. It's just like social media. I mean, you know, we have a lot I of... Mean, of so it's Instagram the world that we model. live in now. People have access to. That's why so it's hard much. to make a relationship. Yeah. It's hard. That's why it's hard to maintain mm-hmm. and, and a relationship and stuff. Now, I mean, yeah. people have so many channels, mm-hmm. uh, so many ways of contacting uh, uh, other people. Yeah, because so, before, you know, back in the day, we had like pages. And that's stuff. right. You know what I mean? Like, Page now, social media. <laughs> now, yeah. What, what was it? You used to make all the little uh, signs and stuff yeah. with the three and the yeah. uh, oh, the whole. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, but you know what? Back we in the day, back well, in the six, day, nine, six, nine. Oh. <laughs> now, I, I, I didn't use, use that one that much. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's that mean? Oh, Jesus. That means that's not supposed to be. Six nine six nine. What was that? I don't think I for? used that when I was young. I was I was in my young You're prime. Goodbye. Goodbye. Toy. I don't even know what that means. Toy. Bye. 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 Oh Lord, y'all Dunk. Got, I don't even feel good. Six nine six nine. Oh, like come on now. <laughs> y'all too much. That's the only. That's the only text you remember, Kim. Right. I don't yeah. remember none of them, but you know. Listen, so mm. what's the hot topic today, Kim? The hot topic for today. Is, no, I'm not ready for this one. I'm not ready I'm for this one. I'm not either, topic. but I'm going to go on and work it out. How do you tell a man <laughs> that his penis <laughs> is very small? Oh, wait, what? Small. How do you tell a man his penis is small? Mm. Now, can, uh, who going to start off this? Mm. Mm. You, you, you are. This is your question. Go ahead. Uh, and look that, at looks, the that looks like me every time I look see this at, picture, she just said like they're bad. <laughs> Except the man, the man is a, a wrong color. Let me, let me, let me big bad or little man? For all the men on game, and this one is free. Oh shoot! When you Take insert notes. a woman's vagina, oh. and if she don't gas, breathe, say oh shit or anything, <laughs> your dick is small. <laughs> Man, you didn't say the D word. You know how I feel about that word. Oh, well. Oh, my go God. Show, <laughs> this it's is. Small. If she don't breathe, if she don't say, oh, shit. If she just lays there. If she just lay there and looks you in your eye and don't move, baby. Oh, my God. That's horrible. But you, you shouldn't is. be sticking anything anywhere. That's why they grow mad. Now, now, you know some men in this world think they think it's just cute. But, well, you know, the, the, the cliche or the what people used to say was, it's not the size of the ship. It's the it's the motion in the ocean. Okay. Okay, right. okay toy, but you know what? I if don't you, know because, you know, if I'm, you I'm trying not to be a member of the motion at all. Right, and it's so just like it's air, just air. You know. So what's the motion? I try not to deal with the mothers from the small penis society. You can't say that because the package can look so amazing. Hey, the you know what? Somebody said, okay, so my friend Shalene, she commented, um, she said that she was with a man um, that had a small penis. Okay, so Shalene, if you're still watching, the number is 470-251-4647. I need you to call in. Yeah. She has a little sexy little accent. I mean, we got to hear it, too. You got to believe, you, you know, they satisfying somebody. You know, so <laughs> it's not necessarily, it must not necessarily be that just because their penis is small, they don't know what to do with it. I am. I'm trying to help these small penis brothers out because, you know, um, not small brothers. The the, the question is, 
What but do you what about the same brother from another one? He has a small penis. Not saying <laughs> right. you might look at a guy. He might be said, six five and stout football player. And you like, thinking oh, that he's hung he like a sword it. and he's not necessarily. And then when you put it in or you touch it or rub against it, you like what? Mm-hmm. Then what you do? Lord. So how do you t- like? How do you tell him? I just don't want to see him again. I don't think you tell him. You just you don't. don't tell him. You just don't call him. Just, yeah, yeah you just don't. Call, I mean, what you call? What's that called? Ghoster. I mean, they kind of know. When they kind of know, hey, like Jack, that's what called. Oh, never mind. Come on, producer. Yeah, I was gonna ask. This? Yeah, I was gonna ask Jack. He's, oh, he said, uh, uh-uh. uh, uh. Uh-uh. Now, now, if Kush was here, he would definitely say something. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Kush. Come on, Kush. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. You can talk about male dicks. I'm good. Lord, they're trying to get the producer involved. He said he ain't having it today Anna, what you think? in what this conversation. Um, Instead of texting all day over there. No, I'm just telling uh, my friend to call in. Shalene, call in. I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's really awkward. Like, honestly, it's just awkward. And I just think that men should come with, you know, the proper equipment for especially for well, the plus What it just depends on what the situation is. Oh, Jack got the mic. Jack, Jack, Jack got the mic. It just depends Jack on what the, the situation is this. to me. I'm Go ahead. Okay. If a man around here a grown man and he don't know it's small, it's y'all fault. <laughs> just like what y'all just said, y'all just going to leave and not tell him. Somebody need to tell that man. <laughs> Why would you? So what would you, would you, you want to hear? Way to tell him, so man, you I would, would want to hear it. So oh, it's like your penis is small, sir. Don't call me. I would want to hear. How do you want to hear? So, hey, babe, you're uh, for real, for real. Over. There's some people out here with uh, deformed. I mean, all type of stuff. But I'm just saying, this, this is real. I mean, no, I'm glad I never had this real. Real. deformed so deformality. So I'm sure y'all. <laughs> so I'm sure y'all gonna run into some scratches. <laughs> yeah, like the ones that curve all the way to the left. Oh my God! What really? Right, curve all the way to the left. Well, they do. That's sometimes. not necessarily a bad thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta hook at it with hook. Uh, yeah, you gotta hook. That's a big thing, but it's like the the the, the canal is straight, so you just never mind. Go ahead. I got to practice my poker face on this. Yeah, she, she. I don't know what. I'm just saying, it's y'all. They grown man. No, it's not. Know it's small, and and that means the same thing y'all just said. Just gotta be like, I'm just not gonna say nothing. Because you know, a man be like, when he asks you that question, how you like it? Don't tell him good. Is it good? What you gonna say? I'm gonna say no. It's not. I don't feel anything. Just like that. Look, crickets. <laughs> 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 right. Just like that. No, I don't feel nothing. I mean, if you just Y'all lay there, if you just lay there, I mean, the sh- shouldn't you want to know? I mean, you should, should get the point. Exactly, you should get the point. Like, please stop. Yeah, I would think. Yeah. Now, if you're using you... like two fingers too, like that's that's not good. Wait, so, two fingers? What? It's two but fingers. you said if it's small, like you know. Oh, like oh, this? Yeah, like you got So this like is it. something that is supposed to happen on the first occurrence, right? Like the first time y'all had sex, you should just yeah. go ahead and let them know that this is not yeah. what you was expecting. Now, you guys, what if they said no sex before marriage? Y'all would have really missed that. Oh, my God. Now, um, <laughs> yeah, listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, on the flip side, the man penis is small, but what if he can do oral very well? Usually that's the conversation because oh. they already know that they can't, you know, they ain't got all of that going on. I mean, you can do oral for so long, though. I mean, you yeah, still like, want to get like, yeah, you got to do it sometimes. No, look at her. What oh. you want, Anna? Baby, what you want, Anna? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all six, six, not six, six, nine. <laughs> See these, oh these sex crazed <laughs> women that I work with oh on this God. show. So y'all but, I mean, I'm serious because you can do so much oral. Heard Mala, she wants to beat that, okay? <laughs> Not to beat that. She wants to beat that. Well, <laughs> so just don't so come to me prefer? if you have a small one. If you, would you prefer PSA? a man that is not well endowed but can eat, or a man that can is well endowed and cannot eat? I don't know. I'm not a huge oral like. You got to have a mixture for me. I don't want to be the uh, be setting all them boundaries in the in the bedroom about what you will and when when mm-hmm. I do, whether you in doubt or or not in doubt. I still you should seek to please me Ooh. with whatever you working with. Okay, that's okay, the main love thing. Gr- guru over here. Okay, so what if he can't please you with the tongue or penis? No, but he got because the the I'm not getting ready to stay in that relationship. I'm not getting ready to develop a relationship with that. Who want toys? Yeah, yeah, he 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 might not have to be single, but he ain't 
gonna be with me. You gotta well, find you somebody know, else that fits him. If you know yeah, that. because you know we're plus size, so it's like you gotta come with the proper equipment to handle. You know, but I know it's 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 Exactly. So if you got a small thing, you better focus on the Asian women. No, the small women. Cause they're they're but small. You know, now you're not defending the whole race of no, 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 no. men. That don't, it's sure not women now. They you, always be the paymasters. They always be the ones that pay because they know who they don't have no big penis. They can't do nothing else, so they pay. Okay, well in that case, call me. That's why I said it's all the time. That's like I said. It's like you said. They, they are finding another way to compensate for work for their shortcomings. For their shortcomings. Oh, okay. That's what it is. But um, I don't know. I prefer a man to work nine to five and carry a nine inch. A nine inch. A uh, John Severe Bronx. <laughs> oh a Bronx word. A Bronx word. I'm okay with like a. I'm not great. I don't, there I don't like that big old thing. I don't like that either. Like that the the hong dong whatever. What I don't want dong? that. I'm a plead the fifth on that. One. I mean, <laughs> I still want all of my lady parts to be intact, intact. when yeah, we don't get go finished here, like, doing what we have to do. Tell my boss you're a plus size woman. Yeah, I just like a yeah. We average. handle it. That's you perfect. Handle, what you do? What you do to it? Handle it. Oh, okay. oh you handle it. I handle it. what I handle. Look here. Look Y'all not gonna get here to tell me all. Tell my my business. <laughs> To be so. I am. You know, She's a lady in the streets, but a freak in the sheets. It. Look at her. Look at just look at her face. We handle it. We a lady in the streets too. Girl, don't put that little angel face on, okay? Because it works. Because the horn is definitely coming through that uh, hair. <laughs> I wish. Y'all gonna quit that. Y'all gonna quit trying to go there on me. But <laughs> see, Kim's anyway, her her, her um, horns today. <laughs> Oh, Kim yeah, just, right. she don't have nothing. She oh, come out loud with her stuff like a dude all the time. Oh, God. I tell you how I am because I don't have time to waste my time. Oh, Not okay. no more. Sorry. Mm-mm. I wasted it before. I won't waste it again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my friend's going to call in. 470 um, 251. I'm texting really? I'm, I'm sorry, 46. Yeah, come on, 4647. <laughs> I mean, I'm just texting her the number because I want somebody's input. So she said she's been with a man that has a small penis. So it's like, how do you tell him that? Like, what? If you're in a relationship, like, that's crazy. That sucks. But like, you know, the, the whole relationship with this person, do you, you have you a just side piece? On that out, though? Like, side piece, shout That's out. why I was confused about the question because it's like, <laughs> Are you in a relationship with this, or it's like okay, this is our first time having sex, and oh, it's not good? Because yeah, like if it's you go on, if you go on a date, date, like do you have yeah, sex that's, with that's them right my away? understanding? Because I'm not gonna you're not gonna continue to be continue to, to be sexually please. active or with somebody that's not pleasing you. Yeah, you're gonna be in a relationship, and you're gonna cheat. Point blank, period. Yeah, and why are you in the relationship if if you're not getting sexually right. satisfied? It's got to be something else that yeah, he's okay, giving hold you. On. Learn how to work the phone today. Loving hips. Hello, loving hips. Well, hello. Is this Miss Anna? Yes, it is. Hey, boo. Well, hey. Family reunions on the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shalita. Trini from DC. Hey, my Trini friend. She's from DC. She's beautiful, you guys. She actually used to model for Wilmina models. But anyway, okay. so yeah, Shalene, tell us about your um your the question. So you were in a relationship with a man that has small penis. How did you handle that? Girl, let me tell you, that mom was so hot. So when he dropped his drawers, I was like, Lord, please help me. So he was dropping drawers. Until he dropped his drawers. You said what? Until he dropped his drawers. So what I did, guys, I used to run to the bathroom and pretend I would call my cousins and be like, call me, see you in a car accident. Something's wrong with you. Blow my phone up. Like, you know, and my cousins would do that, and I'll be, like, making out with the guy all hot and heavy and stuff, and then I'll be like, oh, my God, like, something's wrong. My family's calling me, and my cousins would call me, and then I'll be like, I got to go. My cousin's in a car accident or in a fight. That is hilarious. And I would lie, and I would literally go across the street from his apartment and go to the club and boogie down. So you fight like, Oh my yeah. God! You think your accident's trying to get away from the small penis? Wow, <laughs> that's a whole yes, lot. Girlfriend. So did you see him so again? Rina was not, and he is Dominican. On top of that, well, I hope he's not watching the show. <laughs> oh no, he's not watching the show. Okay, he's in Atlanta now. Oh God. Okay. Like well, you might have to you might have to send me a picture because you know too. we're out in these Atlanta streets. It's just in case, doors. girl, he's hot as shit. But until he turn around, you'll be like. Oh. My little three year old baby have a thing a ding dong than that. Oh my god! Aww. Not a ding dong. 
I feel sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Well, thank you so much for calling in. Make you sure guys are welcome. And, you know, Anna is my girl representing DC. Yay! <laughs> well, you guys, hold it down. I love watching you guys show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, love <laughs> you, sure, ladies. Love Bye. you too. Make love sure you too. say the number. I will. Bye. 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 <laughs> Aww. She said he dropped them drawers. That's what she said. <laughs> she it was she said that he was fine. You know, on the outside. Yeah, good to look, look at. To well, look at. The package of presentation looks very well until. Like I mean, you said, just don't know until you're in the moment, the and then that's what I said. It's, it would have to be in the beginning because it's not something that you want to keep on. Uh, putting yourself in a situation where you all are intimate and you're just not satisfied because then you're going to be frustrated and looking like that, that lady on that cartoon. She's sitting straight up in the bed like, Lord, have mercy. What, oh, what just oh, happened? Now, I just thought about that. What about <laughs> being with a man that when he climax, but he don't let you climax? Uh, Say it again. He climaxed. He have an orgasm, oh, okay. but he don't let y'all get off. So, oh, we okay. just sitting there looking like, really? Mm. Well, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm I know gonna, I won. I'm okay with that. No, I'm not okay with that. I am. I said I. I didn't say you. Just so you I know. Up. She got upset. Well, Dang. You want to be with somebody? You want to be with somebody that don't allow you to climax? I mean, my thing. I don't climax off of just sex. Come on, like, Jack. My thing Come is, on. Like, you know, it can be climb. off of a kiss. It can be like just I don't know. You it's know, you don't. You don't love. That, that's, that's a big uh, loaded question because you can be talking about the first time you have sex. You mm-hmm. can talk about with your dude where. You always get it, and he just. Gets and in time, we have sex. Oh, yeah. I better nut. Oh, ew! Anytime. <laughs> now what? We not. No. <laughs> no, we not. What? What's that? Can you say? You're gonna I'm say anything? Ninety percent of the time, God damn. <laughs> she need to be on the people. Uh, she need to be on the. Uh, <laughs> She need to be on the kids show because uh, you need to be like, on the dude <laughs> show. Who the, what kind of women says that? A good one. I can't. I know she ain't not no one. But she ain't a brand new. I don't say. It's just not realistic. Mm. Yeah, it's not. What? If you, oh have, you have to climax every time every you have time. sex? Every time you have sex. Why not? I mean, I think men they they <laughs> do right, but I don't know. No, I don't know about women. Not, not every time. Yeah, he fakes it. I mean, sometimes, like, I'm okay with that. Like, I'm cool with that. I'm like, if I just got the like the the you know the cuddling and the kissing and we're just cool, like, you good, good. on the foreplay and all I'm of that. Good. Yeah, I'm not even really about the foreplay. I'm oh, just a big kissing up, person. I don't know. I mean, you would want to, or you would shoot. I mean, of course like you would want to, yeah. But if it doesn't happen, then, really? then you're not gonna yeah, be disappointed on, unless it was every time. Get that fucking then Charlie. Then I get, I'm the only one. Get that Charlie horse, and your whole orgasm is gonna go out the window. You let it go away and then you get it back. And hop around the yeah, room. Yeah, you do. You hop back on it once the child husband. Oh, right. mm-hmm. Let's go. Just hold me and kiss me. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'll do all I don't know how me. You, you too me. easy. No. <laughs> <laughs> not all. Not all too easy. Okay, okay more too easy. No, but no, not too much. Not too easy. Not too easy. I'm too easy. I'm a little bit more complex than that. Brand new five minutes ago. Exactly. She's on the Sesame Street show. Not on the Netflix. Uh-huh. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. <laughs> see, y'all see how spicy this show gets. Like, done. They be too much for me. I be trying to uh, take it down a thousand. They uh, like habanero peppers and hey, I like jalapeno here. peppers. She might be uh, taking it down on camera, but outside of these... Uh, oh, tell cameras, it. Tell it. Tell it. We know the real toy. We okay, do. So Don't be so worried about what I'm doing in my bed now. Bing. No, we're not because we're not there holding the candle. But go ahead and announce mm-hmm. the next guest, boo. Ain't no next guest. <laughs> it's almost time to go. No, honey. not the next guest. She's talking about the next show. What are you doing? It's word on the street. <laughs> It's time to Kim, go. Y'all are too. What, what is in there? It's time to go. She's it's that you because that's the myth that you're sipping on. What's in your brain? Look, I'm using it. But anyway, thank you. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for tuning in, y'all. <laughs> thank you. What? What? <laughs> for this spicy, spicy episode of uh, Love and Hips TV. Guest. And our next guest is uh, Tamara Charles what? and uh, Ray Tamar? Lavender, Yay. R&B singer. Yeah. Tam- Tamara right. Charles, Same. the author and R&B uh, singer Ray Lavender will be in the building with us and they'll be talking about the Boss Woman Brunch that we that's got coming right. up. Uh, that's our next event on March the 8th and uh, y'all stay tuned. And you guys, make sure you get your tickets. VIP is sold out, but the general admission is still open and it's yeah, $25. It's $25. And it's on our website mm-hmm. and on our uh, on our social media platform, right. so check it out. Uh, and that's I think the tickets are on Eventbrite, right? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. So check it out. Boss Woman Brunch uh, is going to be some great Boss women in the building, and, and it's uh, going to be hosted by Eleven Hits. The three boss women. <laughs> so 
thank you for watching today and everybody have a blessed next couple of weeks and we'll we'll be back with y'all see bye. you guys on our next show <laughs> bye oprah <laughs>